Windows 7 hasn't been a big hit on tablets, mainly because the operating system is particularly power hungry and the interface isn't particularly touch friendly. But now we have Windows 8. Now Microsoft are really trying to crack the, the tablet market um, and Windows 8 could be just the operating system to do that. Um, we've got um, uh, an early version here. Now it's going to be launched in 2012, probably late 2012. But this early version is giving us a, a hint to some of its uh, features and its controls. Now Windows 8 won't be launched until about late 2012, but we're very lucky to have uh, an early version here, which isn't fully functional, but it's definitely given us a taste of what it can do. The main feature of Windows 8 is this tiled uh, start screen, which borrows heavily from Windows Phone 7. And most of the tiles are, are live, so you can have live weather updates that change um, intermittently, um, stocks and shares prices, for example. And as we have here, um, I have my Facebook page with uh, images of my friends who have recently posted an update, so you can see who's, who's posting. So this new system replaces the old start menu that we're used to in Windows 7 and previous versions of Windows. And it features uh, all the new tablet apps that will be developed uh, for Windows 8 and some of the older traditional apps that you might associate with earlier versions of Windows, for example, Excel, Word, Office, and so on. And uh, there's also an icon here to represent the App Store. Now, the App Store isn't currently working, but it'll be the place where you'll be able to download your traditional Microsoft apps, such as Office and so on, and some of the tablet-specific ones, maybe games and maybe even Angry Birds, if we're lucky. So it's currently not working, but we're sure that we're going to see it on a, a future version of uh, Windows. So to go through your apps, you uh, swipe from left to right. Uh, to open an app, just a single press. There we go. Um, and you can also uh, multitask, so I could have this game of chess, for example, but also at the same time bring in a different app, maybe show the share prices while I'm playing, and then bring back chess. So it's this multitasking feature that makes uh, Windows 8 quite nice, I feel. A familiar app on the Windows 8 operating system is Internet Explorer. Just click on that. Um, I already brought up the uh, witch.co.uk home screen. Uh, you can multitask and bring in other windows. Um, and there's a, a virtual keyboard that can be customized and that's quite responsive in this particular tablet and, and easy to use. Where this uh, tablet differs from other tablets is that there's a, a real file management system that you can access uh, behind this start menu. And that's in the form of Windows Explorer, which most of us are familiar with. So just press it. And it comes up with the, uh, the usual Windows Explorer interface. And in here, you can store your music, arrange it, um, work with all your files, basically move them around, just like you would do in a desktop PC. You can also access your photos and your files from within apps. So you could access them from within your Facebook app, for example, or, or Twitter. Overall, then, Windows 8 looks and feels good. It integrates the uh, the file management, traditional PC-based um, part with the, the tablet-based part really well. Um, Microsoft's even sorted out the, the touch screen interface of this part so well that it's almost as good as using a, a traditional mouse and keyboard, which you can obviously do if you're using it on a desktop PC. It's great then to have a go at this early version of Windows 8, but we really look forward even more to trying out the full version that's going to be available to everybody sometime in late 2012, as we expect it to be. So in the meantime, if you want to have a look at our reviews of all the latest tablets, have a look at witch.co.uk forward slash technology. <laughs>